The hardest thing about riding motorcycles is losing your friends. What do you do for a living, bro? You a landscaper? My trade? Why, no. He, brown? <laughs> <laughs> he brought his work truck, fool! <laughs> I didn't even specify what bike it was for. I just said, <laughs> no, it actually <laughs> said. Some bikes. It actually said. did you go to the friends experience? No, I You need to go, bro. Two people I met this summer who sadly I'll never see again. Motorcycle gear like this may or may not save you, but rocking it on the streets could give you a fighting chance. Now, I'm not immune to being an idiot. I've crashed in a t-shirt and jeans, and I'll admit I've ridden pretty dangerously in traffic as well. But it wasn't until the counter of friends that I lost riding one of these that I realized there's no trophy at the end. Now, if you're just getting into riding, you more than likely have your favorite creator. Be mindful of the videos you watch of idiots who promote dumbass riding in exchange for views. I'm an advocate for ride your own ride and part of that is riding within your limits. Some people nickname us organ donors and some have called these a coffin on wheels. But to people like us who love this sport, most of us would call motorcycle riding complete freedom. This is just a simple reminder for all my homies on twos to wear your gear, ride within your limit, and find a time and place for all the fuckery. Because if you lose your life to this bullshit, you're gonna make a lot of people sad. I miss all my friends that I've lost. I have to go buy a battery for the Ducati, but first let's go sell the CF Moto. Alright guys, we're at uh, Snoqualmie Medical Valley Center somewhere, like an hour from my house, but uh, we're getting rid of the 450. I'm gonna unload it. What's up, bro? What's good, bro? Am I saying what's up to the channel? Yes, no, you no, are. Bro. Yes, you are, bro. Say what's up, Panchito. <laughs> nah, not even, bro. This is... You were calling me Jose last Yo, time. Yo, for real, man. Oh my God, bro. So this is it. I gotta send you the spare key. Yeah. Because oh, okay. I f***ing forgot it, and then I forgot the helmet. I just f***ing, it was just, f I'm so sorry, dude. But I'm gonna meet up with you again. Because how far are you live? This is you got this or what, man? What am I supposed to do? Ride it! Dude, you're crazy. <laughs> you never ridden? For real? I'm gonna hang out. I know you did. I thought you were f***ing with me, bro. Oh, no, dude, I'm serious. Are you serious? serious? At least turn it on and start it up. <laughs> you, need you don't know how to do it? Key on video. Or key yeah. on, you're in yeah. neutral. Yeah. Yep. that footage. Look at these, the footage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. My Ducati did that same thing. It was too far over. Ready? <laughs> 130 miles an hour, this guy, man. Oh, he was God. fine. <laughs> you got Tell gear? About the fire hydrant. I did have gear, yeah. He had gear. The fire hydrant too? Oh, shut the f up, yeah. Out, I went out 10 feet before a fire hydrant. Oh, my God, bro. Just going straight, too fast, gonna, bro. I was corner? in the corner. <sighs> Damn, man. Bye. Okay, I got the battery. A lot of you guys are probably wondering why I sold the CF Moto. Well, it was never a bike that I wanted to keep long term. Trevor, who bought the bike from me, well, traded the bike. He convinced me to trade him because content and, you know, it, it paid off. Paid off. I got my money's worth of content. The new owner is enjoying his new bike. And I, for one, have way too many motorcycles, including this Ducati. So, also. I decided I'm gonna do like these crazy vlogs almost every day again. Let's go. This is uh, I don't know if you guys know what this is. This is malungay. People in the Philippines eat this. My dad eats it. It's vegetables. Okay, my aunt doesn't want anybody to know, but just give her the, the best of her last six months. Don't take one person's That's word. The doctor that did her surgery a couple times. That's fine, but I'm saying like don't don't take that as the final word. People have fought. There's a cancer treatment center in Seattle. It's big. It's a big ass building. You can see it from the freeway. I, I want to see if I can take her there. She, she was crying. She said, can I get it? I understand that, but I mean, it's not the time to give up. You just fight till you, you can't. My mom's on live on TikTok. What's up? What's up? I'm making a YouTube video. Put it on my face. Video. YouTube videos like almost every single day now. TikTok's gonna be every day too, but damn, the views are fucking shit on TikTok Why? right now. I don't know. TikTok be doing some weird shit. Today we're gonna install these Supermoto mini wheels on my Talaria Sting R. Ow! Fuck! Oh, check! <laughs> I hit, I hit, I hit the freaking bike with the bell on my hat. Okay, so I swapped the sprockets and the rotors from the. You know what I mean. Can we just appreciate this lady real quick? She's on live in the rain talking to her fans. I know. Yeah. You guys are on YouTube. Say what's up. What's up? Thank you for the rose. Thank you for the rose. <laughs> <laughs> My mom's reading the comments with a freaking magnifying glass, bro. No, because I went to the... <laughs> I 
<laughs> she can't. She don't got her glasses on. Oh my god. All right, guys. There it is. It does look kind of whack. It does look kind of whack. I ain't gonna lie. But I think my mom should be able to ride it now. I ride it for you guys. I'll try. Real quickly, I wanted to thank the sponsor of today's video, Progressive Insurance. Adobo Moto and Progressive Insurance partnered up to ask you all what you wanted to know about motorcycle insurance. But do they cover Jixxers? Great question, Jixxer Greg. As a matter of fact, they cover many different sport bikes. <laughs> right on, but uh, how much is it a month? Well, Jixxer Greg, that's another great question, but I can't answer that for you because there's a variety of factors that determines your monthly premium. I'd suggest visiting Progressive.com to find out exactly what they could do for you. <laughs> All right, fine. Oh, sick, they got a mobile app? Heck yeah, I'm definitely thinking about switching now. Are there any benefits to switching? Actually, one of the benefits that I've come to love by using Progressive is their vanishing deductible. The longer you go without a claim, your deductibles actually go down until suddenly you don't have a deductible. Even before Progressive contacted me to sponsor a video, I've used Progressive Insurance for many of my motorcycles. So if any of you guys need more information on motorcycle insurance, visit progressive.com slash motorcycle. They're excellent to work with. Their mobile app is super easy to use for claims, and I trust them with all my motorcycles. This video was brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Today I'm going to show you how to install a motorcycle windscreen. Welcome to day 98 of trying to unjigsaw my R6. I know a lot of you jigsaw squids probably like the dark tinted windscreen. Like many of you, you probably put a ton of stickers on the front too. But I like to be able to see what's in front of me when I'm tucked in. Also look at these plastic screws from Yamaha. I've seen this happen a lot on this generation of R6. Everybody strips these screws. Now it looks like the previous owner got hungry because he took a bite off the screen. Look at that. First I got to get these mirrors off. I love how easy it is to remove the mirrors on this R6. All right, now I'm gonna try to remove this screw. Luckily, these things aren't very tight, and then you can do the rest by your hand. Missing one here, so no problem there. And once you got them all, you just pull right out. There you go. I'm gonna go ahead and replace this little rubber grommet that's missing. Clean this area off with some alcohol. And now we can mount the clear one on. And I'm gonna replace the plastic screws with real metal screws, but with a plastic spacer in between so it doesn't crack the windscreen. Just be careful not to over tighten this. Okay, there we go. Looks a lot less like a jigsaw every single day. I'm gonna have to hit up the previous owner to see if he wants to eat the rest of this. I really forgot how mean this looks without the mirrors. I mean, look at that, dude. Oh my God, bro. I'm debating putting the mirrors back on. Let me know what you guys think. Juju's birthday today. Happy Hola. 14 years old. How do you feel? I feel five. Out of there. I got eggs, bacon, strawberries, all on a pancake. Yummy. I'm gonna pour syrup ev on everything. Everything. Everything is good with syrup. Come in some bacon, Olive. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, Olive. 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 Happy birthday, Thank you so much, Andy Nani. Julian's at Sandbox VR for his birthday. You excited, bro? I've been training. Okay, okay, so we got the right tracker, the left tracker, the right foot tracker, the left foot tracker. That's okay. time. Yes. You ready, bro? Okay, so we got a big wall. We got a big wall. Big wall fans. He was in a dark room. Uh Julian's ready, bro. Look at him. He's ready. He's so ready. Right up, up here, up, guys. Up, 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 up here. Up, up, up. No, no, you're up. You're back. You're back. Windows. 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 All right, we just got done uh, eating at Buffalo Wild Wings, and then Julian got a Valve Thank Index you so much for, for the money. I got a VR for his birthday. Put our money Yo. Look at that. Are you excited? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude! Everybody bought him a Valve Index, which is what he really wanted for his birthday. All right, you guys know where we're at. I gotta, I gotta take care of this mop, bro. My hair be growing way too fast, dude. All right, bro. What was your first job? Working at Amazon. Go, go grocery. Oh, okay. The actual grocery store, but it's like no oh, cashier. Stocking. There's no cashier. I hate it. I wake up hella early. If I miss an hour, I'll get written up. I got so many warnings and all those other things. So just working a regular job versus running your own fucking yeah. show, dude. I work 24 hours now, guys. Fuck yeah. Out, please. <laughs> you standing out there and handing out your business cards. I would have never had came in here bro yeah. now you got like a customer for life fam you better not move away bro i try not to probably, yeah. seattle's my home for sure i'm gonna kidnap you so we're <laughs> still on the topic of business this is our new business my wife and i this is the one i was gonna do with my business partner but his dad got sick so he's not moving up here anymore you guys have heard me talk about it before but look at this show them the empty one so we're like reset like we're, we're on the reset 
We opened this up. There was nothing in there, bro. My God. So she's going to open this one up. Because what we think is like some employee at Ross. Like, because look, how did they get this tag inside this? So we think that it's some employee at Ross like opened them, stole all the contents, sealed it back up, and then put it on the floor. Because these feel so light. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> oh my God! Yo! What? They straight stole them! No, it comes with two. What you mean two? It comes with two. See, includes two. Oh. Five minis to unbox. Oh, I see what happened. Okay, so the rest of them are legit. Open it up, and you unbox it on this side. Well, they are in there. Okay. And I got a gold one. So it must not have been an employee at Ross. Oh, oh. This is a good one, look. What is a that? A gold one? Hey, Baby Loda. Olive calls him Baby Loda. I got this guy I'm already. I'm excited about this. I got this guy already. Look at that. It's another nice day in... F oh, okay. I didn't get a chance to ride the other day, but we're going to try to ride today. Progressive is going to cost me a little bit more, but the two times I had claims with them, one with my Panigale and one with my R1M, those claims were like taken care of in two weeks. It was one phone call, they did everything else. And for my Panigale, the adjuster actually set up my claim just enough so I wouldn't have to have a salvage title on the bike. Which, you know, people who go out of their way to help you out with that kind of stuff, that's the kind of customer service that you get with companies like Progressive. Like, there's nothing bad about Geico but again that one time I really needed them to come pick me up and my motorcycle I'm paying for the damn coverage you know the roadside assistance and all that they uh they weren't there Red, if you're watching this, you, you remember that. So there's a car rental company in LA that's infamous for being cheap, but really, really crappy service. And it's called Fox Rental. Ask me how I know. The last time I rented from them was like five years ago. I got a minivan for me and my friends. I was young and broke. And yes, it was cheap, but it took us like almost three hours to get our van. And um, that's what dealing with, with Geico is like. It's just... It's cheap, and the service is... <sighs> Alright, now that we got this bike insured, let's go get it in my name. I'm gonna head to the DMV, run a couple errands, get some coffee, and uh, test out these stainless brake lines, bro. Shitty toast cold start, here we go. <laughs> It sounds, sounds like a dixer. <laughs> oh snap, I don't got mirrors. Um, one second. There you go, mirrors on. You know, I'm really tired of losing my friends to this sport. It's tough, man. And I know people die every day, I get it. But motorcycles, there's almost like a, a guarantee that if you ride motorcycles long enough, your friends or somebody you know is gonna die uh, doing this sport. It's a rough reality, man. I want you guys to be careful out there if you guys are gonna be riding. Have fun, enjoy the sport, but understand that there is a time and place for, for the hooliganism. Ah, it's all good, it's all good. Let's not get emotional. It is what it is. Ride in paradise, my friends. I love you guys more than you know. Your memories will carry on, and you know, the rest of us will keep riding for you. I'm feeling these freaking brake lines though, man. Way better than those squishy freaking uh, rubber lines. Like night and day difference, bro. Like straight one finger braking. I love it. I'm still a little bit confused with the... <laughs> <laughs> like I don't have a shift like a, a gear shift indicator a gear indicator and then you know this is bike is in GP my Aprilia is in GP too but I don't know I've relied too heavily on the gear shift indicator which is oh, such a noob oh my god Zolly it's Friday uh, do I feel like waiting in this line though I don't feel like it bro I mean it seems pretty quick <sighs> Let's go. All right, that was super painless. <laughs> I only waited like five minutes 
it's crazy because I came from uh, Nevada where you go to the DMV and it takes like three hours to get seen and then once you get up there if you don't have everything that's it like they sometimes they'll give you like a time to come back but it's a lot easier here for sure god i'm feeling these breaks man it feels so good look at the clouds now dude it was just sunny out like literally uh, a few minutes ago i gotta go do some amazon returns Oh, you know what I should do? Take you guys to like a bikini espresso shop one time, man. They're huge here in Washington. <laughs> you guys might like that. That might be clickbaity content. <laughs> Man, I might have to go press this. It's not gonna catch me. The struggle of bikes is like, these lights don't really catch you, but hopefully this car will. Thank you, car. Thank you. I know it was you. This light never, never catches me on my bike. There's a UPS store inside this Ace. Very convenient, because I'm always needing like bolts or like super glue. <laughs> <laughs> or some shit like that. Let's get this done, bros. <laughs> trying to grab the key. <laughs> I already have the kick stand up. I'm trying to grab the key from my pocket. Come on. Come on. This is the most frustrating part when you just. This is why I just leave my key in the ignition, man. I, I hate putting it in my pocket because as soon as I get to my bike, I always forget to put, take it out of my pocket. Alright, let's go. I'm wondering if it's coffee time. It kind of feels like it. I'm not craving it, but when I'm making a video, I'm always like, it's coffee time, bros. Go. Ooh, clutch lifts up shift. Way better on a GP shift. Yes, sir. Yeehaw. Let's go. Did I just yeehaw? <laughs> That's how you know this bike is, is really fun, man. I love the R6, dude. I really want to get rid of the RSV4. Like, this is all the sport bike I need right here. Unless it's the KTM RC8. Woo! I saw an RC8C. Oh, man. I'm so tempted to go pick it up. It's in Oregon, bro. Ah, 40K, though. Not worth it. <laughs> Especially, like, it's the track-only bike. Fuck, where, where I want to friggin' ride that thing to? Two-wheel Tuesday? I'm gonna trailer it. Knowing me, I probably would. <laughs> Still not used to this throttle, holy canzole! Other than that, man, this bike is coming along, man. I'm waiting for my tire changer from Rabaconda. Let me get some fresh rubber on this bike. Ooh. <laughs> you guys don't know how like, excited I am. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I love these new brakes, dude. Sheesh. I love them, man. Holy canzole! God, I just love this freaking bike, bro. You know what I need next? Clip-ons. I don't like these clip-ons. Just they just vibrate like like crazy. Oh, I could have literally just use the sidewalk. God damn it. <laughs> this is my coffee spot now. They got me one time. They gave me like a gift card, and it was like uh, like you buy the gift card, and then they'll match whatever you put on there. So I put like forty dollars, which made it like eighty dollars, and I ended up coming here all the time. And it's so close to my house. I'm leaving the key. Let's go. Now I can't decide if I want hot or cold though. It's kind of chilly, but it's not that chilly. Like we went with an iced coffee, just because I mean, it was like the sun was out earlier, dude, and it was like warm and. I wanted an iced coffee and now it's like gloomy as shit and I'm like yeah iced coffee still fuck it ah okay so when you're doing like clutchless upshifts and downshifts you want to make sure that your rpms are kind of high right so I'm at eight between eight and nine and then I'll just I'll blip the throttle real quick, like I'll, I'll let it go, like very quickly, and then I'll shift up, watch. See? Right hand only, no left hand. You want to make sure that the RPMs, again, are kind of high. So that was from first to second, now I'm going to do second to third, watch. Watch how quickly this happens. See? 
I, I blipped the throttle real quick and then I upshifted. Now watch when I clutch this downshift. It's a different type of blip. You see, I, I let go of the throttle and then I'll, I'll blip it. See, one hand only. That is all you need. It's all in the uh, throttle hand. I'll do it again. Okay, ready? It's gonna go quick. I'm gonna go up to third and then back down to first, watch. Second. Third, that was super smooth. Now I'm gonna go down to second. Let the throttle go. Blip. First gear, ready? Blip, that's it. Very simple. Here's your super glue, dude. Gracias. You're welcome. What are you fixing with it? My headphones. Your headphones? Yeah. yeah. Instead of buying new ones, he wants to fix his uh, old ones. Because they're cheaper. What cheaper. The ones you got him for his yeah, birthday or something. How do I look, Daddy? Oh, you look so beautiful. Hey, what's up, Mom? We're on YouTube. I'm doing the outro. So, if only we could fix, like, diseases or, you know, dying with a trip to the grocery store or the hardware store. Like you do with super glue. Yeah, trying to fix your aunt. Yeah. Well, they said the only, uh, <laughs> the only, uh, that, that's why God give you shit because they want you to change for a better heart. My aunt has a great heart. You're just... She's a witch sometimes. No, she's not. <laughs>